Well, it's absolutely fantastic to be back here. A great deal has happened to me since I was last here. Uh, for one thing, it turned out I had a brain tumor, which nobody knew about. Although I suspect that some of you who saw my last talk when I did the uh, <laughs> dance of the great crested grebe by myself. Uh, suspected, but the doctors did not know for another few years. And by that time, the tumor, which made me overproduce human growth hormone, had grown bone spurs and brought on osteoporosis. So then I had to have a hip replacement. And then a year or two later, I fell and broke my leg in the most complicated way possible. So it didn't heal. It required another surgery. I've been walking for three months now, and I. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so happy about that. But uh, it has brought me in touch with reality. And even more, what brought me in touch with reality is that throughout all this time, I was making a movie. And many of you here have actually helped with that. Some of you have been helping finance it. Some of you have lent your expertise. Some of you are in it, as uh, you will see, because we are just about to show a demo of it. I just want to say, before we show the demo, uh, there are two caveats. One is, uh, there is an, there's a lot of me in the movie, not so much of me in the demo, because we wanted to show all the other elements we've added to make the ideas and the science more accessible to people, not just for educational purposes, although certainly we care about that, but because we believe that in a democracy, in a secular democracy, the more we know about science, the more it informs how we create our institutions and sustain them. And the second caveat is, this is not yet finished. So what you're going to see is very rough. The animations are in the process of being done, but what you're going to be seeing is after effects. There's no color correction, there is no sound mix, there's no... Uh, enjoy! <laughs> Emily Levine is a brainiac comedian. Have you ever seen this game show? You have to answer the questions the way you think America would answer them? I never get an answer right. <laughs> questions like, name an occupation that's almost always filled by men. I say, pimp. Who had a problem in her brain. Acromegaly. A tumor in my pituitary gland was causing me to grow too much human growth hormone. That's what acromegaly literally means, a too big head and large extremities. But as Emily's head gets bigger, so do her ideas. The universe is just like my life. That our cosmology, the physics that give us our picture of the universe, and our metaphysics, how we picture ourselves fitting into the universe, are interconnected. That's why everybody's so fixated on cosmetology. <laughs> really, when you don't know what the universe looks like, you start to worry about what you look like. <laughs> Our physics have changed, but America hasn't caught up. We need an extreme makeover. Now she's got a mind to make over America and the world, along with Richard Lewis's Aristotle. Come on, please, I'm very fragile. Lily Tomlin as Anne Rand. Boy, I oughta. Leonard Nimoy as Sigmund Freud. You are hysterical. Actual scientists. I object. I object. I object. And John Lithgow as Emily's arch nemesis, Sir Isaac Newton. I don't like him. <laughs> I don't like Newton's universe. That clockwork universe. Tick this way, talk that way. But it's the same pattern of behavior. In other words, change doesn't happen at all. Everyone's holding fast to their fixed positions. Religion versus science. Public versus private. Consumerism in the planet. Emily escapes Newton's universe and finds one that looks more like her life. Full of uncertainty, turbulence, unpredictability, chaos, and worse, chaos theorists. In chaos theory, one small random event can change outcomes in systems like the weather the stock market, and the brain. And it's not just weather, it's people. Like civil rights activist Rosa Parks, 
takes a seat in the front of the bus, and boom, there's a tornado in Alabama. But here's what we have to remember. Alabama led to a black president, but it takes enormous courage to change. It's all a risk. Getting a brain tumor was a high wire act for me, but change is life. Like it or not, it's what's for dinner. It's how the universe works. So really, who better than I to take America through the paradigm shift? <laughs> and tomorrow the world.